Hi, this is Phil Necro. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redden. Fifth inning, I just sat down. I didn't want to change anything. <laughs> I remember about the seventh thing on, no one would talk to me. Oh, yeah. I say, what the hell? What a nice day. Yeah. Not a cloud in the sky. Were you Freddy, the... Freddy Velasquez was your catcher? Uh, not Freddy. Uh, Paul Casanova. Yeah. Paul Casanova. But I've been really blessed. I've got to play with a lot of great ball players and go a lot of places. Who, when you were coming up, there's always, you know, a mentor of, of, of somebody on each team that I'm sure you are. There's always that older guy that sort of looked over. Who was that for you? Well, before I started playing, I, I, you can look back in some of the earlier baseball cards. Phil Necro was one really? of my heroes. As a wow. matter of fact, I think he's going to play in this yes, golf tournament. So, so, yeah, he, he was one of my heroes. Uh, and, you know, everybody says, asked you if, you're, if you've been around him. Yeah. Is he as good as he seems like he is? And I, most of the time I say, no, he's a better man yeah. than what you think. He's just he's class he's a great individual. I just had a lot of respect for him. Another teammate of yours, uh, Phil Necro, in the Hall of Fame, knuckleballer. Uh, you were on the same pitching staff with him. Right. Did he show you anything? Did you learn the knuckleball ever? I never learned the knuckleball. It's probably uh, a good thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had enough on my plate. But uh, what Phil did tell me was to use different arm angles. Uh, not to just come at the same angle all the time. And, uh, you know, he did talk to me about, you know, things I could do to yeah. improve. And that meant a lot because back when I was a rookie, uh, things were different. Rookies were looked upon as someone coming in and taking your place. And yeah. a lot of guys resented rookies. Uh, they don't do that so much now, but back then they did. But, uh, Ron Reed and Phil, uh, they both, you know, were happy that I was there and helped me out. Welcome to On Deck. I'm Tyler Redden. I'm here with Mr. Phil Necro, Hall of Famer. Thank you, Tyler. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Now, Mr. Phil, i got to ask you, you know, your claim to fame is that famous knuckleball. And... Oh, got one. Happen to have one. Can you show me the knuckleball real quick? Pretty simple. At least the way I throw it. Some guys, most guys throw it this way the ball back in here, hands come around, and these two fingers come into the ball and stiff wrist it, no follow throw and just a little up and goes in the bat and hope there's no rotation on the ball comes in there and <laughs> doesn't bother. It doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> never do the same thing twice. Now, that pitch, how did you come across that pitch? Who showed you Oh, my father, when I was in grade school, taught to me in the backyard and I pitched four years of high school with it and went to tryout camp and Got signed because I was a seventeen. Nobody could hit it. <laughs> well, they could hit it. Huh? <laughs> it's not doing right. Now, somebody that has talked about this knuckleball, I got to bring him up. It was your catcher. He brought it up in his Hall of Fame speech, Mr. Bob Buecher. Oh yeah. What was it? That is a character of the ball know, of yeah. the game. What is it like working with him? Oh, uh, he was he really turned my career around because when Paul Richards came over from Baltimore to Atlanta, BGM, he traded Gene Oliver from the Braves. The Phillies for Bob Uecker. Bob Uecker came down. He said, I'm going to call that pitch in situations where other pitchers would catch it and call it. We'll, we'll, we'll lose a few and some will get by me. And that ER led the, led the league in ER, ERA average. He led the league in the past. <laughs> he, you know, he, he talks about it. He says, uh, his quote is, the best way to catch is just to wait for it to start rolling and go pick, pick it, it up. up. Throw it back, yeah. He's now, a good one. What's it like listening to him? You know, call baseball. Well, he calls from Milwaukee. I've, I've seen her some games. He, he he's a legend. He he's is like a Vince Scully. He's he's he one is. of the best there is. His comedy is just yeah, it's a very dry sense of humor. And very it's dry. hilarious. Now you mentioned uh, the backyard. Yeah. Now when you were coming up, you had a brother that made a major league. Late too. brother, yeah. He threw a knuckleball. He won two hundred and uh, twenty-one games. Y'all pitched against each other. Yeah. And Nine I know. Times. I know in the backyard y'all have that scenario going through your mind. When I'm in the major leagues, I'm going to pitch against you. Yeah, we did nine times. He won five, I won four. What's it like facing your brother? I wanted to beat him one nothing. 
I don't even blame you. You, you know what? Beat me one though. We were very close. With all of your accomplishments, and there is there is life outside of baseball. Yeah. And right now we're at a Daryl Cheney United Way golf tournament for charity. You know what brings you back here every year? Daryl Cheney. Daryl Cheney. I mean, I remember the first year. So I think I missed one up here. He does a great job. What a yes, he does. What a, what a great American that guy is. And uh, he's done a great job up here. And raised a lot of money. A lot of players go up here and vice course. And it's always exciting to be up here. And anything Daryl Cheney is going to be a part of, I'm going to be a part of. Absolutely. Well, I always finish with any form of brave with this right here. I want you to say whatever you would like to say to Braves country. Hey, go Braves. They're, they're playing <laughs> well right now. And long way to go, and they they got a young ball club. Pitching is good. They'll score some runs, and hopefully when this is all over, they'll be in the pennant drive. I appreciate it. Uh, good to see you. Good, good luck. Hey, guys. I want to thank you all personally for tuning into this uh, tribute to Hall of Famer Phil Necro. And just real quick, I wanted to add one note. Uh, Phil Necro was uh, a great person to me, to everyone he came across, really. Uh, this week, you know, you've heard a lot about how good of an athlete he was, but you've probably also heard stories of, from different people of just how good of a person he was, whether it be, you know, staying late to sign autographs or, you know, just having conversations with people at the ballpark. And I would like to add to that. He was a good person to me. Uh, you know, the first time I met him, he was, you know, as friendly as could be. I was as nervous as I could be. And, uh, he got that out of me real quick. Uh, just, you know, having a conversation with me, whether it be about baseball, uh, answering any question I had about his days playing uh, with the Braves in the 80s, playing with Bob Euchre, playing with Dale Murphy, and just whatever question I had, he was more than happy to answer it, uh, while also pulling some pranks throughout the day, uh, and of course, cracking some jokes. Uh, I'll tell you that I'm going to miss seeing Phil uh, once a year at the Daryl Cheney uh, Golf Tournament, but, uh, you know, he's in a better place now. I can accept that, and uh, I'll always have the memories of him. Uh, as well as Braves country will. And though he's gone, uh, he will certainly never be forgotten. Uh, Phil Necro, rest in peace, my friend. Well, they this here by the water. Somebody's going to come real close to it. Maybe it's not about someone falling that water. <laughs> Great touch.